Welcome to our continuing series, Questions and Answers for a World in Crisis. Today, Oroville, Part 1. From the Mother. Oroville wants to be a universal town where men and women of all countries are able to live in peace and progressive harmony above all creeds, all politics, and all nationalities. The purpose of Oroville is to realize human unity. 8 September 1965 Question Who has taken the initiative for the construction of Oroville? Mother The Supreme Lord Who participates in the financing of Oroville? Mother The Supreme Lord Question. If one wants to live in Oroville, what does it imply for oneself? Mother. To try to attain the supreme perfection. Question. Must one be a student of yoga? in order to live in Oroville? Mother, all life is yoga. Therefore, one cannot live without practicing the supreme yoga. Question, what will be the ashram's role in Oroville? Mother, whatever the Supreme Lord wants it to be. Question, will there be camping grounds in Oroville? Mother, all things are as they should be, when they should be. Question, will family life continue in Oroville? Mother, if one has not gone beyond that. Question, can one retain one's religion in Oroville? Mother, if one has not gone beyond that. Question, can one be an atheist in Oroville? Mother, if one has not gone beyond that. Question, will there be a social life in Oroville? Mother, if one has not gone beyond that. Question, will there be compulsory community activities in Oroville? Mother, Nothing is compulsory. Question. Will money be used in Oroville? Mother. No. Oroville will have money relations only with the outside world. Question. How will work be organized and distributed in Oroville? Mother, money would no longer be the sovereign lord. Individual worth would have a far greater importance than that of material wealth and social standing. There, work would not be a way to earn one's living, but a way to express oneself and to develop one's capacities and possibilities while being of service to the community 
as a whole, which for its own part would provide for each individual's subsistence and sphere of action. Question. What will be the relations between the inhabitants of Oroville and the outside world? Mother. Each person is allowed full freedom. The external relations of residence in Oroville will be established for each one according to his personal aspiration and his activities within Oroville. Question. Who will own the land and buildings of Oroville? Mother. The Supreme Lord. Question. What languages will be used for teaching? Mother. All the spoken languages of the earth. Question. What will be the means of transport in Oroville? Mother. We do not know. 1965. Mother. Oroville is going well and is becoming more and more real. But its realization does not proceed in the usual human way. And it is more visible to the inner consciousness than to the outer eye. January 1966. Question. You say that Oroville is a dream. Mother, yes, it is a dream of the Lord. And generally these dreams turn out to be true. Much more true than the human so-called realities. 20 May 1966. Humanity is not the last rung of the terrestrial creation. Evolution continues and man will be surpassed. It is for each individual to know whether he wants to participate in the advent of this new species. Mother again. For those who are satisfied with the world as it is, Oroville obviously has no reason to exist. August 1966. Mother, we would like to make Oroville the cradle of the Superman. 1966. Mother again. Oroville should be at the service of truth beyond all social, political, and religious convictions. Mother again. Oroville is the effort towards peace in sincerity and truth. 20 September 1966. Mother. Oroville is an attempt towards world peace Friendship, Fraternity, Unity, 20 September 1966. As long as you are for some and against others, you are necessarily outside the truth. You should constantly keep goodwill and love in your heart and let them pour out on all with tranquility and equality. 16 December 1966. Mother, Oroville, at last a place where one will be able to think only of the future. January 1967. 
a message to be carved in stone and placed in or beside a lotus pond at Promesse. Mother. Auroville is the shelter built for all those who want to hasten towards the future of knowledge, peace, and unity. 16 March, 1967. Conditions for living in Auroville. From the psychological point of view, the required conditions are 1. To be convinced of the essential unity of mankind and to have the will to collaborate for the material realization of that unity. To have the will to collaborate in all that furthers future realizations. The material conditions will be worked out as the realization proceeds. 19 June 1967 Mother The aims of Oroville An effective human unity Peace upon earth Oroville, the city at the service of truth, 28 February 1968. Mother, greetings from Oroville to all men of goodwill are invited to Oroville, all those who thirst for progress and aspire for a higher and truer life. 28 February 1968. Oroville Charter 1. Oroville belongs to nobody in particular. Oroville belongs to humanity as a whole. But to live in Oroville, one must be the willing servitor of the divine consciousness. Two, Oroville will be the place of an unending education, of constant progress, and a youth that never ages. Three, Oroville wants to be the bridge between the past and the future. Taking advantage of all discoveries from without and from within, Oroville will boldly spring towards future realizations. 4. Oroville will be a site of material and spiritual researches for a living embodiment of an actual human unity.